y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be testing out some newer makeup launches and some that aren't quite so new, but ones that you probably haven't heard of before. So just a quick and easy sit down tutorial, maybe not so quick, I don't know. We all know that I like to ramble, so it might be best to grab a little snack or you can just watch this while you're getting ready for work or school in the morning. Pitter patter, let's get at her. Before I start applying my full face, I wanted to quickly share what I have on for my base. If you guys follow me on Instagram stories, then you would have already seen these products, but I have been in love with this combo. It just gives me really nice, like bouncy skin that's ready for foundation. These two are newer releases from Too Faced. Well, like semi new. So this is the Hangover Good in Bed Ultra Replenishing Hydrating Serum. It has hyaluronic acid, coconut water, dragon fruit, and vitamin B5. So I'll go in with this. Then I'll use my moisturizer, <laughs> my Thank You Farmer SPF, which I love, and then of course my primer. So all four of these products are already on as well as an eye cream, but I do have another product that I really want to test out. This is from Wander Beauty. I'm a huge fan of their, what is it called? Glow Ahead Oil, I think. Yeah, Glow Ahead Face Oil. If you're looking for a really nice lightweight face oil, especially for winter months, this one is awesome. I haven't tried this yet though, so I thought why not? Today would be a good day to test it out on camera. This is their Hidden Glow Brightening Cream, Brighten and Hydrate. It says apply evenly to face for an instant radiant glow. Can be worn alone or under makeup for a dewy finish. I love me a dewy finish. So let's go ahead and try this out. I don't think I've even swatched this yet. Just comes out like a white cream. Let's see. It does have a little bit of an herbal scent. Honestly, it kind of smells exactly like the Glow Ahead face oil. You do get a glow. It's not quite as glowy as like the Becca Skin Perfector or the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Filter, but I feel like those are illuminating type of highlighters. This is more of just an illuminating base. I'm gonna take a little bit more. I do like the way that it looks though. Just kind of add some freshness to the skin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to eyes. Obviously I already do have my brows on. I think I'm gonna be testing a couple of palettes and all three are from Profusion. So first up, this is the Mirage palette. I love this color scheme. I've been loving both of these shades here for a really good brow bone shade. If you have like light to medium complexion, these will also be perfect for you. I haven't used too many of the metallics in this palette yet, but the matte so far, I've been having really good luck with. The only thing is there's not like, I really wish there was a rich dark brown or a black in here. The deepest shade is this brown here. While it's pretty, it's more of like, a reddish type of brown and it just doesn't really get that deep. Now for the crease, I know I love this orange shade, but first I think I'm going to dip into maybe these two shades here. So more of kind of like a very, very light salmon shade. I am so sad that Handmaid's Tale is over. I honestly don't watch too much like live TV. That's why I love Hulu and Netflix. So now that Handmaid's Tale is over, Keegan and I started um, season two of Mindhunter, which I loved season one. I am definitely a crime junkie and I love that, you know, all of it's based on real serial killers. I sound like a psychopath right now, but I think a lot of people like true crime these days. I've talked about this before, my love for true crime podcasts. I feel like I've listened to so many recently though that I kind of got burnt out. So now I've been on a Love Island binge, but Love Island UK, I haven't even bothered with a US version yet just because the banter that goes on in the UK one is so much better. I love it. It's the epitome of trash TV, but it's so good. Now let's go in with a deeper shade, kind of just closer to the crease. I think I'm actually gonna go in with the orange that I just mentioned. It is so beautiful. I think if I had to pick like one color family of eyeshadows, it would probably be oranges. I just love these like rusty, fall straight up pumpkin spice type of colors. They are my favorite all year round. It doesn't have to be fall. Let me tell you, I am excited to start like baking pumpkin bread, busting out the fall decor. It's my favorite time of the year. This is just a Morphe M433, very similar to like a Mac 217. Also, if you're not following me on Instagram stories, you're missing on really important quality content like the picture that I'm about to show you. But let me just say, after I posted these, the flood of DMs that I got that were just like, oh my God, I had these two. I think I still have them in storage. I randomly like found myself on eBay searching for a acceptable price for these because I miss them so much. Did any of y'all have this set of, focus please, Littlest Pet Shops? The Littlest Pet Shops that they have now are creepy and like overly 
they have like anime eyes and they're weird. They just don't look the same. And then this gerbil set had like a magnet bar to where like you can make it run through the tunnel. Oh, I love that one. And then this cat one, this had a magnetic nose where it would catch this mouse and then this cat would scratch the scratching post. But I can't stop thinking about those turtles. I don't know what it is. All right, I'm just going to buff this color through the crease. I told y'all it was quality content over there. So for the red shades, we're gonna take a mixture of these two colors right here. I know whenever Profusion releases newer palettes, sometimes it's like exclusive onto their website for a couple of weeks first, and then they launch it at Target and Walmart. Who knows, it could already be at Target and I just haven't seen it. But either way, I will find a link for these products for sure, for sure, and link them down below. Okay, so I'm just taking that same brush and I'm really just packing some of this color right into the outer corner. So there are some glitter shades, three of them, ow, I just hit my lip, in this palette, but I think the formula is different from the next palette that I'm about to show you. These just feel like drier pressed, oh, actually that one doesn't feel as dry. This pink one though, for whatever reason, felt a little bit more crumbly in comparison. However, Profusion recently launched these 20th anniversary nine glitter pan shadows. These definitely feel like they have more of like a cream, Vaseline type of base to them. So I think I'm gonna go in with one of these. But before I do that, I do wanna lay down just like a shadow base on my lid and then we will also use glitter glue. This kind of berry toned shade here. I'm just gonna take my finger and apply some of that right onto the lid. I think this is probably my favorite Profusion palette so far. I just really like the color scheme of this one. And then let's go in with a shade Cheers. You know what, I did describe that incorrectly. For some reason, the first time I swatched these, I swore it was like way, way creamier. It honestly just feels like the ColourPop press glitters. Now for this outer corner, I do wanna go in with a darker, deeper brown. As I mentioned earlier, the brown in here, it's pretty, but it's just not as dark as I want. So I'm gonna go into the brand new Persona Identity 2 palette. Let me know if you guys wanna see a tutorial with this. And I'm gonna take a mixture, actually no, I'm just gonna start off with Brave, which is this really nice, rich brown. And just picking this up on a flat shader brush. I'm just going to pack some of this right onto the outer corner. And then taking Limitless, which is a tiny bit of the black, I'm also gonna use that just to flick out a tiny bit, just like that. Maybe we can do a little bit of Dance, which is this dark brown right on top of that. So I do need a little bit more of the glitter glue. I'm just going to lightly pat some of that right on top. All right, so my eyes are finished. I went ahead and just stuck with Limitless, the black in this palette, which is so good and just a rich black. So whenever I used this brush earlier just to kind of create a wing, I just went back in with a eyebrow, whoa, eyebrow brush and just kept on packing that black with a wet brush just to kind of give myself more of a wing. They're not even, but they could still cut a hoe or your mama. All right, now moving on to foundation. The foundation isn't new, but it's new to me and I have been using it nonstop for the last like week or so. All right, so this is what I feel like is key to the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, at least for my skin. I go in and basically bathe my face with the Pixi Glow Mist. Ah, I love this one. I'm using the shade Vanilla Beige. While my skin is still wet, I'm gonna go in and just apply some of this foundation, just like so. So before I go in and blend that all into my face, I'm gonna take another mist of the Pixi Glow Mist, and then from there, I'm gonna take the Smashbox Full Coverage Foundation Brush and just start blending this right into my skin. So I really like to pull it down my jaw I like the coverage of it too. You can definitely build it up, but I would say from the first layer, you get a medium coverage. It's blocking out any like discoloration and redness, but it still allows freckles to peek through and it lets your skin breathe. It doesn't feel heavy and cakey on the skin. Typically with stick foundations, I avoid them because they feel like they really drag on the skin. They feel heavy and just thick. This, as long as you go in and really hydrate your skin first, 
I swear the mixture of the foundation with the Pixie Glow Mist is what made me like the foundation because honestly, I was so close to decluttering it and then I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and give it one more try. And I randomly tried it with the Pixie Glow Mist and now it's become one of my favorite foundations. Like I said, I've been using it pretty much every day for the last week. I recently ordered the Pony Effect Pro Liquid Concealer. This one is in the shade Beige. Unfortunately, the shade range isn't very impressive but the coverage of this concealer is like Tarte Shape Tape, but I actually like the formula more. My current favorite concealer is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Sculpting Concealer, isn't that what it's called? I just find that one to give just as much coverage, but it just feels a little bit more hydrating on the under eyes. This is pretty much like that, but with a little bit more coverage. I kind of hate to talk about this product when not everyone can use it, but I just wanted to share something different in case you do have a lighter to medium skin tone and you're like tired of shape tape or born this way and you're just wanting something a little bit more hydrating but with still a ton of coverage, this is a great concealer. I don't have a brand new bronzer to test out with y'all. I'm still using the newer, I mean, it's not brand new, but it's still newish, L'Oreal Bronze Please. I've still been loving this bronzer. This is just a Smashbox powder brush. Okay, now for blush. Bare Minerals recently sent over their Bounce and Blur blushes. The shade that I've been loving the most is called Blurred Buff. This is what the packaging looks like, and it's just kind of like a cream putty type of formula. When it comes to blushes, these more like natural tones are always some of my absolute favorites. For example, Tarte Exposed. I really like this one though just because it has a subtle natural sheen to it. So you can apply this with your fingers or with a brush. I've been doing it with my fingers, but I kind of want to test it out with a brush today just so I can see if I can get a little bit more pigmentation because it definitely is a blush that's more on the natural side. So if you are more of just like a subtle blush person, I think you would really like this because it's something that you can wear really, really sheer or build up more. Ooh, I think I do like it more with a brush though. Whenever I went in with my fingers, I felt like I had to continuously tap back into the pan and apply some more to get the type of color that I want just because I really do like blush. I don't like shy away from the pigmentation. And this one did last pretty well throughout the day. This is the Motu Tapu face palette. I probably butchered that. I apologize, please don't hate me. But the highlighter in here, all three shades are beautiful. You have Casino Bounty, which this blush is so pretty. The high, oh, did I go backwards? No, the highlighter is called Moana. <laughs> be still my heart. I love me some Moana. All right, so before we apply that, I'm gonna go in with my third layer of the Pixie Glow Mist. The misters on Pixie, they know where it's at. It's the best. Okay, so just like with the foundation, while this is still wet, I honestly haven't even tried this highlighter yet, so this one is like a first impression. This is just the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter brush, and mmm. <sighs> Yes, ma'am. If y'all have not tried NARS highlighters yet, they are so beautiful. It's a powder, but the way that they melt into the skin, you still get a very high shine highlighter, but it's the kind where like it really only hits at certain angles. So you don't just have a constant like streak of metallic glistening glowiness, which I do still love, but it's like when it hits the light just right. Yes, please. I just, I love it. It makes me so happy. Now, for my lips, this is something I'm really excited to share with y'all. I was wearing it in my last video and on Instagram stories. Yeah, in that K-Beauty haul. Um, it is another K-Beauty product. This lip combo is what dreams are made of. Okay, if you guys watched my like bright lips or bold statement lips recommendation video, then you would have saw one of the three CE lipsticks in the shade Hit Me Up. I've been talking about it for so long. I absolutely love the lip color that I ordered it in a second shade and I may have since ordered it in a third and fourth shade. But this is the three CE matte lipstick in the shade 116 Inked Heart. Do not let matte scare you away. This is one of the most comfortable lipsticks that I have ever worn. Not like most comfortable matte lipstick, most comfortable lipstick. It is so, so good. All right, but for my lip liner, this is a great one from the drugstore. It's from Revolution and it's in the shade Noble. Typically I stick with the NYX lip liners or the, or the ColourPop ones, but the formula of this is very long wearing, but more than anything, I love the color of it. And then going in with Inked Heart. While this color is beautiful on its own, I love a glossy lip, so, 
this combo, I cannot get enough. You guys are gonna get sick of seeing it because I can already tell I'm gonna be wearing it nonstop. This is the 3CE Plumping Lips. I have mine in the shade Rosy. There's a pink, there's a red, and then there's a clear. I ordered the clear because the formula of this takes me back to like Revlon lip butter days, but on steroids. It is so glossy, there's no stickiness to it and it layers beautifully on top of lipsticks. The second that this touches the heat of your lips, it just melts. It's super pigmented even on its own. I don't have any issues of it feathering. It's not sticky. It's just such a beautiful lip combo. I wanna go ahead and give you all a swatch too. Like, let me swatch it live so you can just see. Like, it just instantly melts down. That wasn't a very good swatch, was it? Sorry, it was like the weird bump of my hand. But it just like melts down into this gloss but with no stickiness. Like, you're not getting any weird webbies. That's something about the simple packaging I just love. But these two together, I love them so much. Here is the look. Let me know what you guys think down below if you guys plan on picking up any of these Profusion palettes. Also, let me know if you would like to see a like dedicated tutorial with the Persona Identity 2 palette. Gross, I already got mine all crusty with powder. And then of course the Profusion Glitter palettes. There was fallout with the glitter, but overall I do think it's a beautiful glitter. I like that they're pressed. They're a lot easier to use than like a loose glitter that gets everywhere. So I do like, you know, the pressed pan concept. And I would recommend the Mirage palette. I've been using this for the last couple of days now and I've really enjoyed all the looks that I've come up with. Like I said, I just wish there was either a black or a deep brown in there. Most of us though already have something like that in our collection. So it's not a deal breaker for me. But I do think it's a great price point, especially for the color story and the amount of shades and the quality that you get in the palette. But there you have it. Here's today's look. Well, as always, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. If y'all liked what you saw today, you could always subscribe. That way you can see more of my previous videos or upcoming videos. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will catch you in the next one. See ya.